All right, welcome back. We'd like to try, I think. Right? I think so. Yeah. I'd like to try. I want to try to get on the Norm Blitz Club. Even if I fail, I'm going to work hard and give it my best. Yay, Hana, for your for positive the stars. attitude. If you and miss, maybe you just I... have endless empty space to fly into forever. That's lovely thought. And maybe I can even make Shane and the others accept me. Now's not the time for me to sit around and wonder what else I can do. Yahoo! There's my girl! Oh! Excited mind. Oh, Hana! You're catapulting through the sky like a shooting star! Bless! And what are you gonna do next? Talk to them? An image of myself going head to head with Shane flickered through my mind. Uh, er, maybe not just yet. <laughs> There's Gary. Sensing my unease, my shrugged. Well... Sorry. Oh, well, don't worry about it too much. Ian's part of Hidden Block, after all. It wouldn't help to have... It wouldn't help him to have competition. And besides... Oh... Shizuka stalked in, looking furious. As always. Turn to page 394. Thank you, Snape. <laughs> that was the end of that. <gasps> oh gosh, Miss Suzuka. And what is the difference between monkshood and wolfsbane? <laughs> <laughs> Finally, class was over. I gathered my bags and joined Maya as she headed to the door. Um, Hana? Oh, Shane. Lucy, Shane. <laughs> oh, Shane. Shane um, stood before me, shifting from foot to foot. Can I speak to you? No. Go A love formed in my throat. Oh, now. I know. What a stinker. Sure. My, go on ahead. If you say so. With a worried tone in her voice, Maya left us alone. She waved me out of the classroom and into a nook next to the window. This nook right here. Beat him up. Just kidding. It came to my attention that I perhaps said something that perhaps I should not have said. That perchance I may have possibly bothered you in some such fashion as a cause of my words <laughs> that I said. Oh, okay, Shane. I'm sorry? Yes, exactly. What? I get it, but it's funny. What? <laughs> I'm sorry for what I said about your hair. My heart skipped a beat. How did you know I heard that? My, she came to my room last night and tore my ear off. Oh, go my, oh my. My chagrin quickly turned to gratefulness. How many other girls would go to one of the most popular book guys in school and chew him out because he was mean to her friend, especially when I wasn't even supposed to hear it? It's true. I hope you can forgive me. Maybe. A weight lifted from my shoulders. <laughs> Oh no, I'm really happy. Thank you so much for apologizing to me. To be honest, I've been worried about this for a while now. So I'm glad you've changed your mind. Mm. Oh, I didn't say that. And poof. <laughs> Back to sadness. I uh, deflated. Look, it's really about you. Or, in a way it is, but you can't really help that. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Never mind. Look, you have to come with me. I have a surprise. It's a sniffy surprise. Following Shane around was not something I would particularly like to do, especially considering what just happened, but... Yeah, okay. Shane grabbed my wrist and led me down the hallway. I could probably have followed him just as well without it and just needing to do that, but there are worse things in the world. Like black licorice. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, that's tasty as long as you don't want to taste anything else for the next hour. That's true. I don't like black licorice. <laughs> Before long, we wound up in front of the normal boots club room. What is this? Without saying a word, Shane opened the door and led me. Inside, the entirety of normal boots was waiting, along with a sullen-faced Ian. Ian! Bye. Well, looks like my work is done. Goodbye. <laughs> He brushed past me as PBG began to laugh. Yeah. Thanks, man. See you in the tournament. So, Hana, I bet you're wondering why Mr. Stoic brought you here. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. As you know, there is a tournament that happens each year in early spring. 
This year, the tournament is at about a month and a half. We each compete in various events. It used to be an easy win, but with Hidden Block around, things changed. We want to keep our competitive edge. Something happened last year that made it so we no longer have someone competing in the puzzle category. I stand by my decision. <laughs> so we need someone to take John's place. I don't understand. Yes, you do, Hana. You should know. We've all we all have different categories we're entering into, and half of us have job have jobs or other clubs that we're busy with. Can't exactly take more on. For example, I compete in the invention and game design category. Nice. I play retro games, get a higher score than the other fellow by the end of the level, that kind of thing. I play pinball on the machines arcade the your arcade provides. And it's the same thing, really. I did not think pinball was gonna be part of it. Shane does Nario Kart racing, or at least he will this year. I do a comp I do completion runs, so I gather and, and accomplish everything in a game as fast as possible. Which takes hours. Mm, I bet, yeah. It's just as draining as it sounds. <laughs> we compete in tag team 80s and 90s arcade beat em ups. Specific, I know. And I. Sparkly Jared. I dance. Yeah. Yeah. We each have our own fields, and we can't take the time to learn a new one. So. So, Ian told you told us how good you are at Dumbadoo's Revenge. He suggested you enter the tournament as a member of the Norman's Club. Really? He really? Why on earth would he do that? He's won that event every year he's gone to school in this district. He wants a little challenge this time around. <laughs> Just because we're rivals doesn't mean we're not friends. Anyways, we voted on whether you should join the club and, well, long story short, we've got a compromise. You enter the tournament, and if you win, you get to join the Noel Beats Club. Ooh, first girl ever! If you lose, well, you don't have what it takes. Ooh. What do you say? Hi. This was amazing! This is exactly what I wanted! What was my chance? Does he give me an option to decide? Uh, what? If I lost, didn't that mean I would lose their friendship too? I feel like not necessarily, you just want to get to be in their club. I'd be a laughing stock, and I'd be left alone again. Alone again. Hana, why is my Naturally. hair? My. You should accept. But where did you even come from? <laughs> Don't you remember what you told me? No more giving up. Yeah, I do. Okay, I'm going to try. That was how I got the opportunity to join the Northwoods Club. If I could win my event for the tournament, I would officially join the team. If I didn't, well, if I didn't, the club would be more likely to lose the tournament, and I wouldn't get to stick around. Nope. It's scary. But if I succeeded, it would be worth it. I couldn't sleep at all that night, so when morning came, I put on my uniform and headed to class early. For once, I was eager for the mundane classroom environment. I hoped it would steal my racing thoughts and help me to come to terms with my amazingly good fortune. <laughs> Therefore, I was sitting in the desk, slowly falling asleep, falling slowly asleep, when a hand slammed upon its surface. Wham! I wanted to do it this time. That worked. Listen up! Whoa, there. Ah! <laughs> I scooted my chair away from the desk. Shane glared at me. If you are really competing with us in the tournament, and I still can't believe that it's happening, then you had better not let us down. I pulled out the chair in front of my desk and sat down. Interesting. Let's talk strategy. What? Do you think practice will pull you through the tournament? Despite knowing it was probably the wrong answer, I nodded. No. Wrong! <laughs> Rather than practice, you need strategy. I could hardly believe my eyes. Shane, the normally quiet, wary, barely speaking Shane, was suddenly on fire, preparing to give me a full lecture on video game strategy. No joke. Did this mean my good fortune was over, or...? <laughs> Pay attention! I snapped up straight and scooted my chair to my desk. Yes, sir! Strategy isn't something you can just study. 
and it isn't something you can only start thinking about when you're playing your game. Strategy is always. Repeat after me. Strategy is always. <laughs> Strategy is always? He slammed his hand on the desk again. With feeling! Strategy is always! Good. Do you know what this means? In your daily life, you can make choices willy-nilly like an absolute idiot, or you can make smart, intelligent choices. You can make choices like a winner. Sometimes, these go against what we want in the moment. Some Someone strategizing for a diet would have to pick not to eat a second serving, even if they want to, even if they're hungry. It's not always what you want, but it's what you've got to do. Understand? I think? Kind of? He nodded, seemingly satisfied. The more you strategize in your daily life, the better your mind will get when trying to strategize in-game. Gaming isn't just fun. Gaming is life. Ball is life. He turned forward, staring me down. Strategy is always. Shane grabbed the bottom <laughs> of his chair and scooted frantically away, his mission apparently accomplished. Nice. He sat in his desk across the room, pulling out a sketch pad and drawing pencils. Then. Face calm as ever before, he started to draw. Uh, how was that? How was that the same Shane I've seen for all these weeks? If he heard me, he didn't respond. I turned back to my desk, once again wide awake, Shane's words repeating in my head. Strategy is... Oh, hey, it's almost time for the flower festival. And it's also almost time for the next episode. Bye. Is that a good outro? That was an interesting outro. I'm sure it's going to change pitch on the oh, probably. thing as I'm like moving around. <sighs> probably. I think we need to do one more episode. My eyes are falling asleep. Your eyeballs. Mm -hmm. Let me help them. Plop. <laughs> Plop them open. All right, welcome back to Sleepy Kelly. No, I am sleepy actually. <laughs> it's okay. She was trying to sleep, and I started the episode. With everything happening so so quickly, it almost felt like it felt like almost like it snuck up on me. The flower festival. Have We're you going. decided who you're taking yet? Uh, uh, flower festival. Uh, yeah. Er, Right. I had to go with someone to the festival, but who could I ask? All the normal boots guys. The only guys I knew were the members of the, members of the normal boots club. Would they want to go with me? And which one should I go with? John was kind and caring, but I was a bit worried he cared too much about Jacques and the play to notice anything else. PBG was so easygoing, but something about the way he looked at me still bothered me. Satch was mature and really smart, but he seemed hard to get close to. Or was I imagining him? Then there was Shane, who, well, let's be honest, he hated me. There was no way he'd say yes. But the, then again, he had started to warm up to me. All Kinda. of continue popped into my mind, too, but the last few times I hung out with him, he caused major destruction. Whacking you in the face. Gerard was so caring and friendly, but I wasn't sure he was interested in me in that way. There was Jared, too, but I looked at my. I couldn't do that. I? No, why would you do that? Well, I... Alright. So, we don't get either Paul or Jared, because we didn't answer one of them. Uh... We answered the I don't want to choose options. We don't get either of them. Uh... So we could choose between these five. I watched, uh, I watched Pro Jared, actual Pro Jared, playing this game, and he picked, uh, he picked Jared's route. Obviously, because he wanted to date himself. Oh, yeah. Uh, actually, he and his wife uh, dressed up for it. She dressed up as Hana, and he dressed up as himself from the show. Oh, from that's the, so from cool. The game. And he's like, why can't I be a guilt-free option? <laughs> a guilt-free option? <laughs> you have to, like, destroy Mai's hopes and dreams in order to date Jared. <laughs> that's so really funny. funny. I was laughing about that for quite a while. Who is the rat you haven't done yet? I've done all of them. Oh, you finished. I'm part way through Paul's, but you, he's not an option here. Yeah, no. I've done every one of those. I will choose 
Gerard's is really cute. PBG's is really cute. Shane's is very difficult, but also cute. Satch's is, like, mysterious. And John's is weird. And John's is John's weird. is not super fun. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Oh, goodness. We should go with... Gerard's always so nice to her. He's super nice. I was going, going between PBG and Gerard. They're both really fun routes. Who do I choose? I don't know. You've got five options. Who, who was her partner for the project they had to do? PBG. Do oh, it's PBG. I think, oh, Gerard or PBG. Everyone <laughs> is so nice. Uh, uh, I'll go with PBG. Okay. Let's do it. Yay, <gasps> Peanut Butter Gamer. Why not? not? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, that is gonna be hella adorable. Let me tell you! I know he can be a bit silly, but PBG, when he cares about something, he truly cares. How does my know these? I guess she watches them and she's like, careful. Okay, he'll be good to you. <laughs> my, it's just one date! Sure, sure. Well, go on! What? Go! Go on and get your man! Wait, you mean now? Yeah. yeah! I hit me on the back and practically shoved me towards the door. Oh my gosh. I envisioned you just shoving me out of the room and slamming the door. As I began to leave, my legs turned to jelly. Slob, small pink blobs filled my vision. Oh my goodness. What? Go! I was tossing cherry blossom petals over oh my, my head. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Go get Senpai to notice you! Senpai! Senpai to notice you. It's a Japanese word. I know, and I don't speak Japanese. Why? Oh, I should just my senpai. Yeah. Okay. My bean day. Yeah. No time to talk, Kana. Sorry. This is gonna be your big day. You're a main character. Unless you messed up real badly, you'll definitely get a good answer. Just oh, I guess I'll find out. I don't know if my gets to go, Jared. I messed up a lot though. <gasps> just go. Final shove, I was out the door. Oh, that's your part. Now, where would I find him? Obviously, his room. Soccer field. Of course, PBG was in the soccer field, practicing like a madman. Shouldn't have expected anything less. I approached him from the side, shouting to be heard over the sound of balls being kicked into the goal. PBG. Oh my gosh, excuse me? PBG? Excuse me. PBG, hello. Hello, please listen to me. Oh, Hannah! Yay! Oh my gosh! Go! Go! So silly. Hey, I guess so. He laughed and ran to meet me on the side of the field. What's up? Well, as you know, the flower festival is tomorrow. Oh, well, it's tomorrow. They waited this long for Oh, me. yeah, it is. His eyes widened with the realization. He looked at me as if he, as if he was seeing me for the first time. Oh my gosh. You're Same a girl, one. right? Uh. He slowly turned red. Oh my goodness. Do, 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 do. Um, so, uh, what brings you here with that information? Oh my gosh, so awkward. It is awkward asking somebody. Not if you do it like we do here. Okay, I don't know if this That's is true. a thing everywhere else, but... Here in Boise, we've always asked people to dance in, like, some weird, funny way. Never, like, straight up to their face. Just, like, you drive up to their house and drop something off, like, knock on the door and run. Or, like, fill their locker with something. Or, I actually, I decorated the entire bottom of your basement to ask one of our friends. Yeah, yeah, you asked Victoria. Yeah, with, like, one letter of my name on the bottom of each of these streamers. There were, like, 30,000 streamers. I don't know, there's a lot of streamers. Mm -hmm. So I had to, like, assemble my name and whatever and figure out who asked. Uh, I got asked once by, like, a... It was, like, a Chinese takeout thing. One of those little Chinese takeout boxes with a bunch of homemade fortune cookies in it. With, like, pieces of paper that I had to put oh. together. Yeah, Rachel did that. Oh, I was like, who did that one? I forgot about that one. Yeah, so that was, it's really fun. No one ever asks, like, face-to-face -face here. It's oh. always like, you do something funky. You got uh, a bunch of those glowy stars put over your bed. I did, and it spelled out the name of the guy that asked me. It was <laughs> awesome. I, lo I love that tradition here. It's great. Yeah, it is. What Clayton had like a like a fuse you had to lighten it. Shot over to some fireworks, didn't it? Uh... 
I, I, he, I don't, he maybe, told me about that. Maybe. It was like, light this fuse, and then, like, you follow it, and it lit a bunch of fireworks. Oh, my. Yeah. That sounds dangerous. I mean, he funny. liked fire, so that makes sense for him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's fun. Let us know if you guys do that, because I, I, I talked to my cousin from Oregon. She doesn't do that. She never did that. It's like, you go up and ask people, or you're a wimp. Yeah. Like, but this is so much more fun. I did ask to a boy to a dance, just asking him about right. Because I was this is my first dance ever, and I was not really aware of the traditions, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh. I, I responded to a dance once with a Harry Potter like Hogwarts acceptance letter. I like oh, yeah, tied awesome. it to I tied it to fishing line and like had it floating there. You were my getaway driver. For I that. was your getaway that driver. That was really fun. We I got put to like paper in the oven. In okay, if you guys want to make parchment out of paper, you just soak it in Earl Grey tea. And you put your oven on broil and put it like right up toward the element until it starts like uh, turning brown. Earl Grey tea, though, that's what works. We tried like a million things. We tried just baking it outright. Tried just water. No, Earl Grey tea works awesome. I've just like kind of lit mine on fire, sort of. You do it enough where it starts burning, but it doesn't actually catch on fire. Mmm, that makes sense. I've done that. That's kind of what happens in the oven. Yeah. You just use a flame from a lighter instead of the yeah. oven element. Yeah, that's maybe. fun. That was great. Okay, let's see how Hana does asking our PPG. Awkwardly. Um, he couldn't look me in the eyes. And my self-conscious consciousness was mounting. Oh my gosh. Well, you know, I guess people go to the festival together, so... Oh, yeah, they do, don't they? Uh, yeah, you mm. should know, PPG. <laughs> he laughed loudly. Too loudly. Ah! Just kidding. Yeah, so if we could go together, that would make me really happy. I trailed off, staring at the ground, my heart drumming like an engine. Oh my gosh. She's so brave. <laughs> <laughs> this was awful. I couldn't even look to see the kind of reaction I... Whoa! Whoa! PBG picked me up and spun me around in circles. I grabbed onto his shoulders to keep from being flung, into his flung from his arms. Aww. Of course I'll go with you. So glad you asked. How are you guys? Really? Of course. There isn't anyone I'd rather spend it with. He set me down and beamed at me. Oh, what's so cute? Well, good? I'll say. This is great. I got asked by a girl. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. <laughs> oh, jeez. I had to get out of here. My heart couldn't take it. <laughs> oh, he's so adorable. Okay, then I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh. Yeah, see you tomorrow. And with that, I ran away. I'm going very fast. Run fast. Ah! <laughs> I woke up late the next morning, the day of the flower festival. I was buzzing with anticipation, but because of that, it took me forever to wake up. Now it was almost noon. What? And I rubbed my eyes as I arose. You gotta get up earlier than that, girlfriend. Hey there. Okay, sorry. Uh, good morning. <laughs> you slept even later than I did. That's impressive, Hana. Sat up in bed, and something on the edge of my desk caught my eye. Hey, what's that? I don't know. Oh, that a letter for you came in the mail this morning, so I just said it. <laughs> Scrambled out of bed and threw my vest, ripping open the letter. <gasps> Is it from PBG or her dad? Oh, jeez, calm down. It's not going anywhere. Turning away from her, I started to read. <laughs> Little Blossom, how have you been how doing have you been these? Doing these oh, yeah, you should read for her, Dad. I'm sorry I haven't found the time to write. Oh, okay. Your pa's been working like hard lately, going. and I seem to be to go right to sleep when I get home. I know things were difficult for you here, and I only hope you're having a better time where you are now. It isn't the same without you here miss your cheeriness and watching TV, TV with you, most of all your pink hair bobbing around the kitchen. Anna, I know you feel bad about the pressure this must be putting on me, but don't. I do this because I love you. There is nothing I want more in this world than your happiness. I miss you, Anna. Be strong. Your papa. Aw, what a nice letter. My hands trembled and tears filled my eyes. I hadn't written to him since arriving at Osagao. As many times a day as he crossed my mind, I've just been busy with other things. He must be worried sick. From the sound of things, he was also depressed. 
miss my father. I miss my home. I missed helping him. If I wasn't around to cook him breakfast, he almost never ate. He kept saying it was fine, but he was getting older. Without my mom there to take care of him. Anna, are you okay? I wiped my eyes on my sleeve. Yeah, I'm fine. I just... I miss my dad. I picked up a pencil and paper to write, trying hard to block out the tears. Eventually, Mai turned her own to her own work and let me be. Dad, I'm doing really great here. This has been the best change of my life. I have a best friend, and I might join a club. I even have a date. You sacrificed so much to bring me here. I know I hardly gave you any choice with the way things were going. I was spoiled and ungrateful, but you always said whatever was necessary for me. I miss you so much, but thank you. I know this was a huge sacrifice. Please eat well and take care of yourself. Remember two glasses of water in the morning and one before bed. And have breakfast. Scrambled eggs are easy to make. Draw a smiley face on them and catch up, just like I would if I was there. I'll send my love through that, so make sure you do it. I miss you. And tell mom happy birthday. All right. Excuse me. Hmm. Think we can get through the flower festival? Uh, maybe. How long does flower festival take? I don't remember. I'll give it a try. Okay. If I have to go to work during this, then so be it. I stood in front of the dorm that night, feeling awkward in my yukata. Students passed by me on either side, laughing and chattering anxiously away. Anxiously away? Chattering away anxiously. A dim red glow grew on the horizon, a bonfire at the festival. The excitement thrumming through the air made me squeamish. Hey. Oh, he looks so cool without his uniform. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Nice. I jumped. I hope she has something. Oh, good. Yeah, she has something. Else. Yeah, a Yukon. You're here. Yeah, I didn't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is, I guess. I am. Yay, PBG. I smiled at PBG as my tension melted away. With PBG here, everything would be okay. I wasn't sure why I felt that way, but I did. Ready to go? Yeah. More than ready. Together we walked down the path on the way out of campus. I haven't actually been off campus since school started. Really? I put off campus for a few soccer related things, but otherwise, I haven't either. There's not much going on around here though. The festival is the biggest thing. As we walked, something struck me as odd. It looked different. You're not wearing your jacket! No, I mean, I have an extra shirt on. <laughs> you look really different in normal clothes. But not normal boots clothes. Yeah, well, you look really different near a yukata. <laughs> Good different. You're super cute. <laughs> I mean, uh... His ears turned pink and I laughed. Thank you. As we approached the edge of the festival, an outpouring of drums, laughter, and the calls of people running stalls cascaded into the night. So, what do you want to do first? Um, I don't really know what there is to do here. That was my question. I don't know what to do. Stalls lined the sides of the street. Higginbana, where Asagawa is located, is a very tiny town everyone pitched in for the festival. Restaurant owners pitched their staples, as well as experimental new foods. Cotton candy covered chicken, fried butter, sugar crusted yams. Painters and sculptors showcased their latest works of art, ranging from vases and cups, paintings of flowers, to artistic nudes. Donjinshi work. Is that how you say it? Dojinshi? Yeah. And life-size replicas of the town founder. <laughs> And then there were the standard festival games. Picking a balloon from underwater using only a metal hook attached to a paper handle. Fishing for goldfish with paper hoops. Shooting bottles glued to where they stood. <laughs> festival games weren't really fair, were they? Uh, uh, Presented with so many choices, I simply asked for what came to mind. How about off the gauss stall? 
Oh yeah, why don't we go see how things are doing over there? Is there someone the origami? Yeah. PBG led the way through the crowd, and I tried to stay close behind. It was easy at first, but when we came to the main square, the throng of bodies grew thick. It was so damn short, I couldn't see anything beyond those bodies. PBG's brown hair disappeared in front of me, and I was shoved between backs, butts, and elbows. That sucks. Excuse me! Excuse me, please! A woman in a pink yukata next to me rolled her eyes and stepped to the side, so I had space to breathe, but... Which way did PBG go? I couldn't see him anywhere! Okay, okay, calm down, just... Where was the Asagawa stall? It was on the east side, right? But I couldn't tell which direction it was which. The stalls contained much of the same things on either side. Oh, we suck. Which way was east? Even the sun was gone, or at least blocked out by the light from the bonfire. What would I do? Ow! The man elbowed me in the cheek and my eyes watered. I hated being short. It's only two inches shorter than me. It's not bad. Yeah, and you're not that short. I'm I think funny you for being short, but that's just because you're shorter than your sister. Right. You know, because you're short in general. Right. Tess is short. Yeah. <laughs> I needed some place to sit down and gather my thoughts, but I was so lost. Don't cry. Don't panic. It's Tana. Tana! Hey, you found me. PBG? The head was bobbing up and down a few feet in front of me. He was jumping to see over the crowds. <laughs> Why is it? It should be Bobby, but they wrote Boppy. Oh. Oops. Hey. That's okay. Hey, I'm right here. I see you. I'm coming. Too relieved to care, I shoved unsuspecting people to the side as I made <gasps> my way to him. You're out of my way. That was very close to my face. Exactly. Hana, what the hell? <laughs> sorry, Mimi. You better be sorry. You're a bitch and I'm a bitch. I talk like a bitch. Bitch. Not. <laughs> Hana. PBG, I'm so glad to see you. Hana! <laughs> you say that for all the boys. <laughs> Hana! <laughs> he just kept saying that. I rushed into him, clinging to the side of his waist. Don't leave me! I'll just hold on to your arms That's since you're sitting waist. down. I know you're sitting down, though. I was so scared, and someone hit me in the face. What? Uh, really? I mean, Hana! <laughs> it's like a Pokemon, and his name is Hana. He peeled me off of him and hunched over to look at my cheek. Oh, I think I can see a bruise coming along. That sucks. We'll ask for ice cut at the sands, okay? Aw, oh, what a nice guy. Here, take my hand and don't let go. I feel like Shane would have been like, screw you, suck it. <laughs> Elbow the other side, now you're even. <laughs> exactly. I nodded and took his hand. Now, the date with Shane is really awkward. I don't think you actually go to the festival. He just wants to draw you. That's weird. Yeah, and then you don't go on a date. Actually, no. You do like one thing, and then it's awkward. Shane's weird. But the rest of his story is really cool. Just an awkward festival. Oh, okay. As we wove through the crowd, he kept his arms stiff to his side. It's like we were part of the same body. Dot, dot, dot. Aww. So happy. PBG was oddly reliable. Why is that? Better? He hadn't struck me as that kind of person. Oh, okay. Not after that project we did together, or oversleeping and missing class. Either way. But when you needed him, he came for you. I guess there was a reason he was part of the... He was one of the founding members of Hell Elites. Oh, thank God! With a gasp of relief, we pulled out of the crowd and into one of the side roads. Now you can breathe. Also, got a stall is this way. We can ask one of the drink vendors for some ice. <laughs> I'm so glad to be out of there. <coughs> Me too. I hate large crowds of people. It's just so hard to breathe. It's hard to treat people like they're people when there's so many. That's so... how I felt in Vegas. It's like 30 million homeless people lining the streets. It's like, I can't even, like, if I pay attention to anybody, it's just gonna get swarmed by everyone wanting money. Right. Like, so I feel oh, really money? bad, but also, like, you can't. You right. just can't do that. Right. I nodded. Out here, there was no reason to continue holding hands. I expected PBG to let me go, but instead he pulled me along down the street. Of course he wouldn't let you go. That would be silly. That would be silly. Did you realize we were still holding hands? I don't know. Yes, he did. 
I glanced up at him, but he was focused on searching the stalls in front of him. I feel like you would always notice that. Though, his ears were a little pink. Was he stressed? Yes. Just wait, kidding. wait. More importantly, I wasn't pulling away either. Dahana. Pikachu was... Was this a date? Was this a real date? Yes! That is why you asked him out. Shouldn't I know this? I was the one to ask him. Obviously, <laughs> Maybe I should do something to show it's one way or the other? You guys are doing enough right now. What should I do? Did I want it to be a date? Yes, you asked about. I mean, it's technically a date. It's a flower festival date. But is it a romantic date? Oh, okay. <laughs> Why didn't I think about this before? Um, I don't know, you chose him. Just kidding, I chose him. But excuse okay. me, can we have some ice? She got her... Pikachu was talking to a red-haired girl at one of the stalls. Wait, Wait. is that mine? No. Kakusu? Affirmative. Ice will be delivered. <laughs> what was the happenstance behind this? Uh, Some guy just up and elbowed her in the face. He didn't even do anything about it. What a loser. That is awful. <laughs> I know, right? Who does that? How can you not feel when your elbow slams into somebody? Pikachu's so pissed off. I guess there's a lot going on, but still. You are a supportive individual. This time, PPG's face turned red. Uh -huh. Well, anybody would do that. Oh, sorry. Kakusu. Oh, right. yeah. Kakusu, what are you doing at this stall? Hello, Hana. Don't you have a date? Oops. So mean. I glanced at PBG, who was staring at Kakusu as if trying to memorize her every, every move. My family owns a restaurant here, and I am out supporting their efforts. Ha! That makes you a supportive individual! <laughs> Kakusu turned to look at him blankly, then opened her mouth. Ha, ha, ha. Oh my god. Your attempt at humor is charming. I wish she's red eyes because they want her to be a robot. As Kakusu opened a plastic bag and started shoveling ice inside, PBG leaned down near me. How tall is PBG? Um, I feel like he has to, like... This girl is really weird. Uh... Did he not notice? She's been weird the whole time. She's always been this way. Don't worry about it. Awesome. Thanks for reading my life. She likes you. Aww. <laughs> Does she? Here is your ice, human. Oh my gosh, a human! Uh, uh, thank you, human. You really didn't notice. Akusu beamed at him. That is wonderful. We are friends now. Allow us to be friends. Um, yeah, sure, we're friends. Kakusu has made a friend. Kakusu is a supportive <laughs> human. Kakusu has been successful today. Oh my gosh, this girl is very strange. Let's get out of here. We need to leave. Bye, Kakusu. Goodbye, friends. I like robot voices there. Really I fun. know. She we pulled like into the edge of an attempted, of an empty looking stall where PBG held the bag of ice up to my face. The freezing cold and rigid plastic stung my skin, but he held it up to me as if it hold handling a butterfly. Butterflies are cute. Programmed to be cute. I can hold it myself. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be swelling too much. That's good. You don't need to worry. It's not that bad. I don't even feel it when we talk. Yeah, but we don't want it to get any worse. <laughs> Quit worrying. Ow. Oh, I'm silly boy. <laughs> it's a good voice. He nodded, but didn't seem to hear me. I grinned at him. Give me that. I reached up to grab oh, the bag and grab his hand and said, Ah, um. Why are you judging me? He let go of the bag, fell to the ground with a soft No, butt. now your eyes are going everywhere. <sighs> dot, 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 dot. Ah, it's so awkward. We're just holding hands forever. Sorry. No, it's. God, why was it suddenly so awkward? Because you're on a date. It's always awkward. This wasn't a... Or was it a date? It was a date. It totally was. Which did I want, for heaven's sake? I grabbed the bag and put it up to my face. Yeah. 
Look, they have Taiyaki. Yeah. He left for the stall without wasting, waiting for me to follow. I dashed to catch up. Oh, BBG, why'd you leave her? His legs were longer than mine, so it took me two steps for his e every one. I was practically jogging next to him. Slow down! What? Alright. We're gonna call this an episode. We're gonna finish this up next time. Sounds good. Finishing the Flower Festival. How does it turn out? Who knows, unless you've played the game. That's true. Goodbye! Bye! Doo -doo 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 -doo.